Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. You know what? Magic's great, life is great, everything is great. I took a break from doing this series because I started hating everything. These cards were vomit-inducing to say the least. If you missed previous episodes and want to feel the pain, you can do so right here. Hmm. Anywho, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I will not let these terrible cards get to me, so, you know, let's do this. The first awful excuse for a trading card we're looking at today is North Star. Yeah, errata text. For a colorless mana for an artifact, you can pay for, tap it, and for one spell this turn, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to pay that spell's mana cost. Additional costs are still paid normally. Uh, yeah, so when would you want to pay four colorless mana to then pay more mana to cast whatever you were going to play anyways? Are you going to run a completely off-color deck just so you can run North Star? I doubt it. Four to play this, four to use the ability. At that point, what do you even need the mana for? Progenitus? Who hard casts that? Nickel Bolas? Good luck getting to a billion mana. Just This card is the definition of inconvenient. The mana fixing really doesn't do much at all. This card sucks. I, <clears throat> I'm okay though, and not upset at all. Nameless races, three colorless, and one black for a creature with trample. Seriously, creature type is just creature because it's nameless, the immersion. Anyways, a text time. As it enters the battlefield, pay any amount of life. The amount you pay can't be more than the total number of white non-token permanents your opponents control, plus the total number of white cards in their graveyard. Nameless races, power, and toughness are each equal to the life paid as it entered the battlefield. I just... What? Why? Why only white permanents? The thing's nameless. It's a racist sack of garbage. Just because it looks like Zuko doesn't mean I'm going to pull any punches. Four mana, and you have to pay a ton of life. But wait, you might not be able to because it only cares about white permanence. Where is this going to be used? Where? Nowhere. What? You have to hope your opponent is playing that crazy awesome Ace and Highway deck? Yeah, sure. Magic sucks. Everything sucks. I give up. Optimism is for chumps. Nameless race makes me want to punch a baby. Alright, what's next? I already lost hope. Which Maw Nephilim is one green, one white, one blue, <sighs> sorry, just wore myself out reading the mana cost, and one black for a 1-1 one, one Nephilim. Whenever you play a spell, you may put two plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever it attacks, it gains trample until end of turn if its power is 10 or greater. I already sense a disturbance in the force that is a bunch of commander players whining to me about how this card isn't that bad. You're all wrong, all of you. This is terrible, the cycle is terrible, except for Ink Shredder, honestly. And this one specifically just makes me want to die. It looks like a mutant Oscar Mayer wiener, that's scary as heck. Look, I don't want to run four different colors just to play this one one and then hope to cast more spells. No, there's a reason this thing is practically worthless. Just because it's a four color creature doesn't make it playable. No, I don't care if you have Knight of New Alara. This card is jank. It'll always be jank. Everything about it is jank. Four color deserves better. I, I hate this card. I, I hate it. Can we end on a note that isn't so awful? <sighs> Didn't think so. Deep Water is double blue for an enchantment. You can pay one blue and until end of turn. If you tap a land you control for mana, it produces blue mana instead of any other type. Wow, why is this a thing? You can't even use it with high tide. Why are you playing this card? Why'd they print it? What does this even do? You already need two blue mana to cast this thing. Then one blue every turn to use the stupid ability. Where is this relevant? Where? When in the world ever do you want to spend slots in a deck to run this abomination of a card? Granted, it has sharks on it. That's cool. But past that, this is legit useless in every format in every deck ever. If it made the lands islands, it would be, you know, passable as a Magic the Gathering card. But in this state, no. Just, n no. No. These cards are terrible. I thought I'd be okay. I did. I really did, but I wasn't. Not okay. Channel's dead. I'm done with this bullcrap. I was just starting to like life again. This is like... The time I found Sorrow's path. Oh, oh God. Video has to end. I